Hello again. So um, this is a quick one. How do you get um, nice looking wire shade display in the viewport? Because at the minute, if I go over to uh, my modify tab and um, I'm looking at it like this, this looks okay, it's all shaded. But if I go to the, the properties of the object and go uh, show me wire, it's way too busy to look at. I'd like to see um, like a wire shade display. Like if I go to Studio Max in here, I get a wire shade display version. I'd, I'd like something like that um, over in Blender because you know this is a, it's called ISO line display. If I turn it off, you end up getting quite a busy looking display depending on how you how busy it gets. I mean that's quite a busy looking. Let's make it go to four and be silly. There we go. If you turn ISO line display on, it simplifies it and you can see what you did. So how do we do that in Blender? So back to Blender. So currently we've got this, which we don't really want. Um, so it's pretty simple. You go over to the objects. So you've got it. Um, you've got your object selected, and you've got wire turned on. Um, let's just go back to modifier list, and if we go optimize or optimal display, it does basically. It does a half a job. It draws these bits, but it hasn't drawn the other bits, has it? So we're nearly there. We nearly got this sort of view. So if we go back into uh, what are this called? This is the don't know properties or whatever. If we go draw all edges, click on draw all edges. We've now got ISO line display, which is sort of Scooby Doo, as they call it. Um, pat pending and all that wacky races. There you go. So uh, two things you need to do. Uh, one. You need to have a subdivision surface to play with in the first place. Actually, more than two things. Um, you need to turn on optimal display in your modifier for subdivision surfaces. So add modifier. In this modifier, when you go and add it, turn on optimal display. And when you've got the object selected, go over to this tab and turn on wire and draw all edges. Okay, if I turn that off, we've got that guy doesn't see that guy on his own doesn't do anything really. But when you hit wire, it does, and then now you've got like an ISO line type display. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Not that it makes much difference in the actual renders, just while you're working, it looks a lot cleaner to look at. And uh, that's that, right? See ya, bye, goodbye.